Hi everybody, this is your first lecture for SketchUp and this is going to go ahead and get you started on getting SketchUp on your computer if you would like the free version on your home PC to do homework or to explore or keep or work with as you wish as well as talk a little about the layout of these videos before we start on the SketchUp itself. So we're going to be working in mostly in SketchUp Pro 2014 which comes with these three icons if you download the Pro version. Now there are two versions so our very good friend Google, if you Google SketchUp or go to SketchUp.com, you'll get here and you can click on download SketchUp, but I'm going to go to products and show you that there are two main SketchUps that are listed, SketchUp Pro and SketchUp Make. And if you click on Make, it has a download SketchUp button and it tells you that it's pretty much for everybody, hobbyist kids and backyard spaceship builders, which means this is the free version. It's going to give you a pro trial to begin with, but this is the free version. So if you, uh, if your mom wants to try SketchUp, this is what she's going to download. She doesn't have an .edu email address. She can't register for a free version of the pro because it's she's not educational. Uh, so anyone can download this and anyone can use it. So also once you graduate and you're a regular adult, you can download SketchUp Make and have access to most of the tools, essentially all of the tools in this program, but not these two programs. The other product is SketchUp Pro, which is what's on all our lab computers, which is a purchased item. However, if you go back to the beginning, click download SketchUp, say you're going to use it for educational w use, you can actually download SketchUp Pro and agree to the licensing group agreement and say you're a student, put in your information and get a free copy of SketchUp Pro for as long as you're a student. You'll have to re-register it every year, but you can do that and have access to all of the SketchUp um, uh, features. Now one of the things about SketchUp Pro is compared to any other 3D modeling program, it's a lot cheaper, but that's also one of the things that is dependent on how much you use it. So we're going to talk about Ske SketchUp itself, layout, and the style builder, and you get to ter determine whether when you graduate you actually want to buy the program or just have the free version or never touch it again. Okay. So as far as, and you can get to this by just SketchUp.com, another way to skip straight to the download part is go to SketchUp slash download slash all or you can also just search through Google or any other browser, SketchUp Download All, and it'll bring you to this web page. So you can download Pro or Make in Mac or Windows and go ahead and download and install whatever you like. Alrighty, so th that would be how to get it on your computer, but we're also going to talk a little bit about what the, the video recording software is showing you right now. So right ne next to my uh, cursor, mm -hmm. -dup -dup arrow, is going to be like a yellow circly dot. And that glowing dot helps to so that you can see where my mouse is going. I can't actually see that dot when I'm recording, but it'll help you to see where my mouse is when watching this recording. It also will show you a red pulse when I left click or the regular mouse click button and a blue pulse when I right click. See that? Left, right, left, right. I also can't see those, so if the colors are wrong, don't hate me. Also, I have this over here, which called, is called OSD Hotkey, and that's going to let you see everything that I type. And as you can see, the space bar is that little underlying, that little underline, it's not actually just a space. And it doesn't show, it shows if I shift like that. It doesn't show when Word autocorrects what I'm typing. But it will show you everything I'm typing. So when I do a shortcut and I hit the space bar or I hit the P key or I hit the Q key, you are going to see that pop up down there. So if I forget to say the shortcut that I'm using to get to a tool, you're going to be able to see it. Okay, That is about it for all of the establishing things, so we're going to start with the splash screen in our next video.